Hi, my name is Tessa Cothran, and this is my video review for the story The Badger by Yosa Busan for World Literature 2. Yosa, the author, came from a peasant family that lived in Osaka, and he studied in Edo under Matsuo Basho before moving to Kyoto to head his own school. Yosa had an infatuation with the strange and the curious, and he sought to depart from the common, pursuing an imaginary world inspired by classical Chinese poetry. His story, The Badger, shows how haiku in the 18th century was often used to convey serious spiritual purposes. So in the story, Yosa stays at the second house of a guy named Zhou Yu, who has an elderly caretaker living there. The house is secluded away from the hustle and bustle of the city, where one can be inspired to write haiku poetry and to stay away from all the noise. As Yosa tries to sleep, he keeps hearing this tapping outside, but when he goes out to look, there's nothing out there. And so he informs the caretaker of what's going on, and they both plan to jump out and get whoever's making this noise. But the caretaker informs him, oh, it's just the badger. So one night they both jump out to try and get this badger, and they both see nothing. But this goes on for like five nights straight. And the next day a servant comes by and informs them that a badger was shot and killed. So Yosa finally gets a quiet night of sleep, yet he is upset that he might have messed up the badger's chance at achieving Buddhahood. So Yosa calls a priest, pays a donation, and then he chants a prayer all night to help the badger achieve Buddhahood. Now when one achieves Buddhahood, they are securing good merits and good karma points so that they can be reborn and as a human or reborn in heaven. This process continues until they attain enlightenment or they attain contentment where they are in life and they keep being reborn until they reach the same position as the God of Buddhism, Buddha. So they eventually attain level equal partnership as God. They basically become God. Some of the things I liked and disliked about the story was the tapping of the badger and not being able to find what the noise was. It reminded me of the story in the Bible of Samuel who heard God calling his name but didn't know what it was and didn't see anyone until Eli explained to him that it was God. The concept of Buddhahood and an animal or a man being reborn or reincarnated until reaching Godhood seemed hard to grasp coming from a Christianity background because as Christians we're taught that we can never achieve Godhood and our Bible tells us how Lucifer who once thought that he would ascend his throne higher than God's he got kicked out of heaven for that we're taught that God is our creator. He is always the supreme being and that while we are supposed to live like Christ, we cannot ever become him. But just like the Buddhists, some of the similarities that we have in common is that we are supposed to exemplify the nature and character of our God. We're supposed to act like Jesus even though we will never actually become him. One of the other things I didn't like was the ending of the story because the last line seemed symbolic, but my mind couldn't grasp what was meant by the badger had his back pressed against the wall or pressed against the door. It only left me with a bunch of questions of wondering, was the badger wanting in? Was the badger giving Yosa a chance to earn karma? Or was this badger trying to give Yosa a chance to achieve Buddhahood by earning good merit points. You know, was this badger a form of Buddha? So one could understand why it would only leave one with questions 
if we do not understand the symbolism of the badger. As far as the audience goes, I think anyone could read this story and better understand the culture and the belief of Buddhist. I believe this story and its spiritual purposes would be better understand by a practicing group of Buddhist who themselves were working to attain Buddhahood. Thank you.